Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today is Wednesday, and that means Pack Battle Day, Card Wolf versus Average Joe. We do it every Wednesday here on my channel and Average Joe's channel, and it's always a good time. Today we are opening a brand new product. It's 2024 Score NFL Football, and I've been waiting for this. This is... Uh, Got all kinds of great stuff in it. It's the first 2024 football product to come out. And so lots of new rookies in here. Uh, throwback to the 89 score design, which is a weird thing to do. I don't feel like the 89 score design was, like, groundbreaking or staggeringly beautiful or anything. But in any event, I always like the throwback design, so it's fun to see that. Some ultra-rare inserts, including Top 100, Hard Score, and Step Ahead which I assume has football players dancing with the stars. I'm not sure what goes on on those, but in any event, we get six packs of 22 cards per pack. So there are about 6,000 cards in this box. You wouldn't think they could fit them all in here, but uh, my math skills are not very good. If there's one thing you know about me, it's that. Also looking for Rookie Signatures Green, and uh, Justin Herbert, apparently, was the uh, quarterback for the Chargers, who are doing pretty well under the... Uh, under the coaching of uh, the other Harbaugh, as I like to call him, being a Ravens fan. Joe is represented this week by this stealthy ninja. He's a cross-looking ninja, too. Joe's a friendly guy, so maybe this isn't the right thing for uh, Joe to be represented by. Anyway, he's the ninja, and I am the uh, friendly-looking... I don't know what the... I think it's a, supposed to be a snake, maybe? Does that? I think that's supposed to be a snake, but he's wearing a... Some sort of a lily pad for a hat, and he's got a really big mouth, so I don't know. It looks like he could, you know, chomp the ninja, but then the ninja could give him a good solid kick there. So we'll see who is victorious. Will it be Joe the Ninja or Cardwolf the uh, chompy snake? I'm not sure, but in any event, we're going to find out very soon as we get into this brand new product. It's 2024 score. First time opening it on the channel. It's only been out for a very short time. And I am excited to get into it. As I said, a ton of cards in this blaster. Lots and lots of cards. It feels like a cement block. And look at that. That is how all blasters should look. Right there. That is, that is what all blasters should look like. Nary a space that you could slip in anything else in this box. It is so packed with cards. And I, I am delighted to see that. I approve of that a great deal. Put that over there. And then here are the packs in all of their foily goodness. So uh, I'll leave these in the order that they came in. Sometimes I like to mix them up, but not today. Keep these knives out of the reach of small children. And Justin Herbert, practice good knife safety at all times, please. And uh, let's get into our first pack on today's blaster box of 2024 score football battle with Average Joe. And uh, check out these cards for the very first time. I think it's... Uh, Beautiful design there. Chad Johnson starts things off. Chad Johnson, who hasn't played in the NFL for quite a while. I like the design. I think that's a pretty design, in my opinion. Let's see what the back looks like. Looks like the same photo, just enlarged, which I don't appreciate, Panini. Show a little extra gumption there and do something different. But there is uh, Chad Johnson. We got uh, Isaiah Likely. Nice card. Ravens card right off the top almost. That's pretty sweet. Isaiah Likely, really good tight end for them. He's given Mark Andrews a run for his money, and that's saying a lot because Mark Andrews was for quite a while an elite tight end. Deron Bland and Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly, born in 1955, still playing football, apparently, if Panini is to be believed. Jim Kelly still playing football somewhere. Remarkable. Aaron Jones now with the Vikings, not the Packers, so pretty cool to see that. Bradley Chubb there, and Flipper Anderson, who was born in 1940 and is still playing football, if score is to be believed. Apparently Flipper Anderson, at the age of about 76, is still playing football. Did not know that. Mike Williams there, good receiver for the Chargers. And Jalen Warren, really good running back for the Steelers. We'll see how he does the rest of the season. Marcus Allen, Hall of Famer, nice to see that. I'm going to woofler that one just because I've always liked Marcus Allen. What's not to like? I mean, it's Marcus Allen, for heaven's sakes. Harold Landry, linebacking for the Titans. Let's get him into focus so you can enjoy that. There we are. 
And Kurt Warner, really good running back for the Seahawks many years ago, but according to score, he's still playing running back for somebody somewhere. Rookie card here of Talise Fuaga, who's a pretty good player for the Saints, actually. I've seen a couple Saints games this season, and he's pretty good. I think he's the real deal. Good tackle for them. Malik Washington, rookie card for the Dolphins. And Kool-Aid McKinstry. Yes, that's right. Kool-Aid McKinstry. I don't know if he, every time he makes a tackle, he yells, oh yeah, I'm not sure what he does. That's from the old Kool-Aid commercials from back in the 70s, the 1970s. Jatavian Sanders, another rookie here, tight end for the Panthers. And Rome Adonze, that's a really good rookie. Or supposedly he's going to be a really good rookie, good receiver for the Bears. That's probably one I should wolf there. I'll hang on to that one. Cedric Gray, another rookie card there. And then we get into some insert action here at the end of this monster pack of 22 cards. Audric Estime, who is on the potential, port, potential, sorry, potential. I don't know what's wrong with my reading skills. Potential rookie there. Put that in the insert stack. And Micah Parsons. That is a sack attack card. You can see it's written along the side there. Michael Parsons, good pass rusher and defender for the Cowboys. Flip these over. First ballot, Andre Johnson, wide receiver, Hall of Famer there. First ballot for Andre Johnson. And then we get another one of these. It's a Donnie Mitchell, another potential, and I believe that is a pink parallel, so that's going to have to get its own stack, too. I'm going to have to s scoot some things around here. Put that back there. There we go. And then that goes over there. All right, so that was just our first pack. That was an adventure. That was a lot of cards. I'm going to have to go through these a little bit faster, I think. That is my uh, suspicion. If we we're going to get through all 6,000 cards, I'm going to have to start moving along a little more quickly here. Trey Hendrickson and Andre Risen, who hasn't played football since the 90s. C.D. Lamb, perhaps the best wide receiver in all of football, and somebody I collect, so that's going to go on the Wolf Lair. Stefan Diggs, no longer with the bills, but doing pretty well. Oh, I think it has a little traded notation in microscopic print here. See if we can even get that on camera. It's right there. You can kind of see it. I don't know. It's a very small print. I would it says, uh, wow, I can't even, even with my spectacles, I can't read that. No, it's because it's upside down card. Well, there it is. Traded to Texans. There we go. So I don't know if you're going to read that or even see it, but there it is, traded to Texans. So it is trying to keep us, you know, in the know as to where some of these uh, players have been traded to. That's very nice. George Koloftis and Jeff Saturday, who was coaching the Colts for a few games there. Ramadre Stevenson and Bo Jackson. That's pretty sweet to see that one. Bo Jackson probably is still playing football somewhere, in all honesty. Jalen Hyatt and Dallas Goddard, really good tight end there. And Roger Stahlback, apparently still playing football at the ripe old age of 83. Roger Stahlback, Debo, Samuel, and Braden Fisk. Rookie card. Jamari Thrash, which is a great football name. Jamari Thrash, who is apparently a wide receiver for the Browns. I wouldn't know that because I don't watch Browns games. Just ask Surf North. I've informed him of that. Kalen King, rookie, and Leonard Taylor, rookie. we got Trey Benson, Rookie, pretty good card there. He's shaping up. He could be a good player for the Cardinals. We'll see about that. They desperately need good players. Jared Verse, rookie. And then we get to our inserts. It's a celebration. Cool and the gang and Christian Wilkins are going to have a good time tonight. Yes. We got a league leaders card here. Christian McCaffrey. He had a monster season. Was the offensive player of the year last season. He's been injured a lot this season, so... I don't think he's going to... Oh, that's a nice one. Lad McConkey, who's a really good wide receiver for the Chargers. And I've watched some Chargers game. I, I think Justin Herbert is getting a lot more comfortable with young Laddie. And uh, I think he's going to be a really good receiver. I'm going to wolf layer that one because I like that player. And then we get an upside down card. is a numbered card of Hayden Hurst. And it appears to be numbered to 630. The nice round number of 630 randomly. This uh, orange numbered parallel. That'll get its own stack too. Why not? We'll go to our next pack out of this blaster. Remember, we are battling Ninja Average Joe today versus Giant uh, Chompy Snake Card Wolf today. One of these days, I'm going to have to find, like, a wolf and an average-looking dude action figure and just start using those all the time. That's really what I should strive to do. 
Bruce Smith running down the field at the ripe old age of 62. And um, Amon Ross St. Brown, really good receiver for the Lions, one of the better receivers in the league, or at least he's kind of becoming that, I think. Uh, still very early in his career. Michael Vick there, who uh, is a real dog lover from what I hear. Zach Martin and, uh, well, these are all, uh, th these are not sorted in here very well. Jan Stenerud, who is 100 years old if he's a day, but apparently he's still getting out there and uh, kicking the pigskin for somebody. I don't know, he's, he's still getting football cards made of him, so who knows what's going on with Jan. Chris Jones, one of the better defensive linemen in the league, future Hall of Famer, I suspect. Reggie Wayne, great wide receiver back in the day. Dietrich Wise Jr. Sean Alexander, another really good running back for the Seahawks. We've gotten a couple of those today. They Neither one of them play anymore, but they were at one time. Sterling Shepard and Jake Elliott for the Eagles. Really good kicker. Joe Thomas there, another good defense or offensive lineman, rather. Jalen Harrell is our first rookie guard out of this pack, and he's a Titans defensive end. Troy Fla Franklin there for the Broncos and Dylan Johnson. Flip these over, and we will see Brock Bowers, who a lot of people thought was going to emerge to be a really good tight end. He's not really doing that much. I mean, the Raiders are having kind of their usual hovering around 500 type season, and I don't think Bowers has really been a difference maker for them yet. Kalen Carson, and uh, we got a green parallel uh, something here of Charles Woodson, the Hall of Famer. That is not numbered or anything. I'm not sure what the significance of that is, but I'll put it in the insert stack. Then we get first ballot Andre Tippett. Two Andres on our first ballot cards today. Johnson and Tippett. Interesting, interesting coincidence. I think not Brees Hall. Very nice celebration of Brees Hall hushing the crowd after what was no doubt some sort of touchdown. Brandon Aubrey, with 36 field goals, was the league leader last year. I like that they're doing league leader cards, i got to say. I missed that in football. They haven't done those for years, and I really like that. I think that's cool. It kind of reminds you of who was kind of dominant in the league last year. I, I appreciate that, so I like that a lot. There's Chris Jenkins, who uh, is with the Bengals, I believe, and that card can go over there. We're at the halfway point, getting into our fourth pack. How did they, or no. Yeah, this is our fourth pack out of this uh, box of six packs. A monster box, which I really, really like and appreciate. Some really good looking, I, I think really clean design on these scorecards. I like them a lot. There's Young Ho Ku, the really good kicker for the Falcons. Dak right there. And Dalton Kincaid, good tight end for, is he still with the Bills? I feel like the Bills let go of everybody who could catch the ball up there and are relying on some young guys. I think Kincaid's still there. I'm not sure. Peyton Manning, very nice to see that one. Peyton Manning probably would still get out there and play if he could. I think if somebody offered him a contract, he'd be all over that. Mike Gusecki, who is in the Patriots uniform, but is indeed playing for the Bengals. Austin Hooper. And we got uh, Derek Stingley Jr., who I thought was going to be a shutdown corner. I thought he was really, he looked great in his rookie season. And he's he's a good corner, but he hasn't he hasn't really uh, taken on the level of talent that I think people thought he was going to. Ricky Jackson and Devontae Smith, who uh, I believe is the number two receiver on Philadelphia's squad, and that is, I mean, Devontae Smith could be the number one receiver on most NFL teams, I think, and yet he is number two in Philadelphia. We got Warren Moon playing for the Seahawks. Wow, I do not remember that. Warren Moon played for the Seahawks? That is weird. I, and there's a different picture of Warren Moon on the back, too. Maybe the, some of these have different pictures. I don't know. Warren Moon, of course, hasn't played football in a very, very long time. And he is, as I always say whenever Warren Moon cards come up, is the only football player to be a member of the NFL Hall of Fame in Canton and the Canadian Football Hall of Fame somewhere up in uh, East Narnia up there. We got Christian McCaffrey and hard score, and it's a Mahomes card, and it is backwards. I don't know why that is, but wow, that is a sweet-looking card. That is a nice one there. That is really nice. I like that card a lot. Hard score, huh? Maybe, uh, was that one of the ultra-rares that they, uh, said we could get out of here? I tossed the box over to the side here to see a hard score. I should have memorized those before I tossed this box aside. Let's see what we have here. Uh, the rares are indeed hard score. How about that? Hard score is apparently an ultra rare 
that you can get out of here. Look for ultra rare inserts. So I'll have to check that out. That might be a much better card than I think it is. I, I think it's a cool card either way. And uh, I'll have to decide. I'll have to see just how rare that card is before I decide whether or not I'm going to give it to my son, for he is a big Mahomes fan, as many of you know. Cooper Dijon, who sounds like a Frenchie there for the Eagles rookie card, and Marshawn Lloyd running back for the Packers. I've seen a lot of Packers games this season, and I've not seen that guy play. Andrew Phillips and Joe Alt, who I have seen play, and he seems pretty talented on the offensive line. Jonathan Brooks there running for the Panthers, and Dalton Schultz, a very good tight end, in my opinion. There he is with the Texans, and I'll put that in the insert stack. I believe it's parallel. Another league leaders card. I did not realize Deron Bland led the league in interceptions. That's, I mean, nine interceptions is nothing to sneeze at. That's Lester Hayes numbers, but uh, still, that's I, I did not know that. That's pretty impressive. Wow. I, I didn't really, for some reason, I didn't really clock that last year. Quinion Mitchell, potential, and... Uh, Will Levis yelling, celebrating, flexing. I'm not sure what he's doing there, but uh, people seem to like it. And another celebration card here. It's Amon Ross St. Brown, who appears as though he's about to take flight in the Thunderdome with Mad Max and Tina Turner. It should be a good time for Amon Ross St. Brown doing that. Let's get to our penultimate pack. It is our second to last pack so far. We've gotten a really cool hard score. Mahomes card and a numbered card of Hayden Hurst, numbered to 630, because that's a number that people number cards to, apparently. Drake London, really good receiver for the Falcons. I watched the uh, Falcons game just the other night on the recommendation of Surf North, and uh, it was indeed a good game, and Drake London just, he, he was really good. He was tearing it up. He was catching all kinds of balls. I think he had over 100 yards. Johnny Manziel, how is he still getting football cards made of him? I do not understand that. I mean, I guess they're trying to find anybody of note that they can make a football card of who played for the Browns, and I can understand, you know, that's going to be some slim pickings there, that's for sure. you got James Cook, who has turned into a really good running back. I wasn't so sure about him, but he's really become quite a good running back for Buffalo. Jerry Judy and Chris Olave, a good young receiver for the Saints. Aaron Donald, who will one day go into the Hall of Fame, no doubt, recently retired. Josh Allen, the defensive player, not the offensive player. Kellen Winslow, one of the greatest tight ends of all time, in my opinion. Kellen Winslow, never forget that playoff game between the Chargers and the Dolphins. That, uh, that performance by Fouts and Winslow was just remarkable. A.J. Brown, there's the wide receiver for the Eagles that is apparently their number one wide receiver. Not Devontae Smith. It's confusing, but that's what it is. Marshall Falk, the great running back, still playing football apparently somewhere. I don't know. Brock Purdy, nice card there. Not a rookie, of course. This is a 2024 product, but still a very nice card to get. Brees Hall and rookie card of Chop Robinson. Another really nice football name. I like that when he plays for the Dolphins. And he's a pass rusher, so Chop Robinson is... Uh, I like that name. Michael Pratt who is ostensibly a rookie quarterback for the Packers, but it may be a long time before he gets to play. Tyler Guyton, tackle for the Cowboys, and Javon Baker, wide receiver there for the Patriots. All of these rookies. We got J.C. Latham there and Theo Johnson. And then we get to potential of Jordan Whittington the third. I don't know if he's the third. It just sounds like with that name, he should be Lord Jordan Whittington of the East Hampshire Whittingtons, yes. Put that over there, and we've got uh, George Karloftis on the sack attack. George Karloftis, that's a that's an awkward position for that quarterback, I must say. Yes, that's a sack attack indeed. Put that over there, and we got uh, Dallas Turner rookie card in the potential. We've got a backwards card here. It is Champ Bailey, who has not played football for quite a while, as far as I'm aware. This one is numbered to 299, which is also a nice round number to number card. So it's like they're picking numbers out of a hat over at the offices of Panini, deciding what to number cards to. Why not just number it to 300? I, I don't understand it. Anyway, we've got an orange and a pink numbered foil parallel. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Last pack. See if we can get something magical here. I think our best card is probably going to be that hard score card of Mahomes, and that's a pretty good card. We got Micah 
Hyde here, not Micah Parsons, the other Micah, Micah Hyde, who's also a really good defensive player. John Elway, who uh, is not still playing football. In fact, the Broncos booted him out of the front office. They don't even want him doing whatever he was doing there. Cole Komet, decent tight end for the Bears, which is really the best compliment you can give Bears players. They're decent. Kyler Murray, who I, I don't know how he's still quarterbacking in the NFL. I'm really puzzled by that. Another Charles Woodson. We got the green parallel version of this card earlier in this rip. And Dalton Schultz, we have seen already. Jordan Addison, who I think is going to be a good wide receiver. The Vikings are tearing it up this season which is completely unexpected. Everybody thought they were going to finish last in their division and absolutely have no shot at the playoffs, but uh, they're tearing it up. Tony Baselli and George Kittle, good tight end, a very enthusiastic tight end for the 49ers. He plays with a lot of heart, Quincy Williams and Jonathan Allen. We got Rashad White, who I think is a really underrated running back there with the Buccaneers, really like Rashad White. And then uh, we get into our rookie cards. We got Darius Robinson for the Cardinals and Gabe Hall. And we got Adani Mitchell, who I have seen play several times, and, and I do like him. I think he's going to be good. He's not getting enough opportunity, but uh, I like him. I'm going to put in the Wolf Larry. TJ Tampa, who does not play for Tampa, oddly enough. It's confusing. He plays for my team, the Ravens. So we'll see if he gets more action. Ravens have a pretty good secondary, though. I don't know how much playtime he's going to get. Javon Bullard there. And then we get another green parallel. This one of Darren Waller, who is now the tight end for the Giants. He was the tight end for the Raiders and was pretty good with them. And now, I don't know if people even know he's still playing football because he's with the Giants. DJ Moore there with the Bears, who was a decent player. And we've got... Uh, all right, we get one of those throwback cards. Wow, we went this whole box... Without getting any of the throwback design, the box made it sound like we were going to get one in like every pack. But we only got this one, and it is of Malik Neighbors, so it's a pretty good one to get. Neighbors is expected to be a really good wide receiver, even though he plays for, yes, the Giants. But uh, anyway, that's a nice one. I like that a lot. That's, that's pretty cool back to that, too. You can check that out. I like it. Love the throwback designs, as you guys know. Celebration, Tyreek Hill doing some sort of handstand or cartwheel in the end zone. That one will definitely go to my son. He likes Tyreek Hill a lot. And our last card is another league leaders card. Pretty cool. It's Tannehill, who was uh, six weeks he the leader. Longest completion in air. That can't be the longest completion all season. Or is that his average? I don't understand. I guess that was the longest completion through the air. That seems nuts. Huh. Anyway, Tannehill, there you go. Tannehill, who is not, uh, I don't think he's quarterbacking right now. He might be a backup somewhere. I'm not aware of what happened to Ryan Tannehill, but there you go. So that's how that's how we did this week against Average Joe, and that is a, a stupendous stack of cards. That is the amount of cards that you should get out of every blaster box in existence, but sadly, that is not the case. I don't know why Donnie Mitchell has his own stack, and all of my logic was there, but... In any event, we get two numbered cards, Champ Bailey and Hayden Hurst, the alliteratively named tight end for the Chargers. The cards I kept out were randomly Marcus Allen and Donnie Mitchell, rookie. Rookie of Rome Aduze and CeeDee Lamb and another rookie there of Ladd McConkey. Beautiful hard score card of Mahomes. I think it's probably the best card we pulled. And a nice throwback card of rookie Malik Neighbors, also a pretty nice card. Check out Average Joe's video. I implore you, go do it now and compare what he got to what I got. Let us know in the comments who you think was victorious in today's pack battle. Was it the Ninja Joe or the uh, Chompy Snake Card Wolf? It's confusing, I know, but we do it this way all the time, and people muddle through the way that I do as well. Hope you guys are having a great week. It is Wednesday, and uh, almost to the weekend, just another couple of days. Tomorrow on this channel, I will be opening a product I've never opened before, and I've always, always wanted to open. It is a mystery box, a uh, baseball mystery box that I found at Walmart for the very first time. We'll be opening that tomorrow and seeing what kind of packs we're going to get out of that. It's going to be very exciting. You will not want to miss that. Friday is also going to be very exciting. Double dorking with dice. Yes, it's happening. I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks so much for coming out to the channel. And as always, happy collecting.